Welcome to the in-depth analysis of the LifeProof Nude case for iPad 2nd and 3rd generation. This is the long-awaited Nude case from LifeProof for the iPad. The thing that we've been waiting for for the past two generations of iPad. The thing that has been so much like a unicorn, it's not even funny. And now it's finally here. So here we're going to go ahead and unbox it and analyze it deeply. I'm um, going to go ahead and show you a couple of things about it. Here you can see there's a few important stickers and things all around it and you'll be seeing that throughout the video and make sure you pay attention to that when you're actually opening up yours because there are some important things you need to do before you actually get your stuff in there. Like for example, you see that yellow? That's actually a very delicate rubber seal that is going to be sealing your iPad so you have to make sure there's no dust and stuff between there. This is the headphone adapter for the headphone jack if in case you want to wear waterproof headphones. This is the front plastic fake iPad cover. It's basically just a test dummy. And then this is the manual with instructions. I would say this is very important to read. Read it thoroughly. Digest it. Eat it. Okay, don't physically eat it, but understand it. And then do everything it says before you actually get your iPad wet. It's very important. So just like the instructions say, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. You take this front fake piece of plastic that's supposed to imitate the iPad. You put it in there. You make sure those little two notches are going to fit in there properly. Then you secure it very, very securely. I sped it up here so you can see it better, but make sure all the edges are nice and secure. And then you'll see this back is actually clear plastic. You'll be able to see the back of your iPad through that eventually when you get the iPad in there. That's the home button right there. That's the little charge bay door, which you're going to see when you plug your thing in, uh, your charger. That side has nothing on it. The top is just going to have one little port, and that's your headphone jack port with a little bung. They call it a bung. It's just a little tiny cap that you screw into it with a little O-ring seal around it. And I almost lost it there. You can see how small it is. But that right there goes right back in there if you want to keep your iPad waterproof. You'd usually take that out when you plug your headphones in. Personally, I suggest using the headphone adapter. That way you can keep it waterproof, even with headphones in. This over here is going to be where you find the uh, silent and ringer switch. It waterproofs everything, including the volume rocker. And that is the front camera and the power button. That's the speaker cover, the speaker grill with its waterproof cover. And basically, that's the life-proof nude case. Now, as you see, I did get a speed up, but what you need to do is actually follow the instructions. And instead of just getting it a little bit wet and then wiping it with a cloth, submerge it in water about 12 inches for about an hour to do its full test before you take it apart again to make sure all those seals are properly sealing your iPad using that fake plastic to be able to make sure it is watertight. So what I'm going to do now is after this really quick little version of that test, I'm going to go ahead and find a coin because there's little slits over here. You might be able to see that. And I'm going to take this little quarter and open it right back up so I can officially get my iPad in there because I've been dying to do that. So let's go ahead and pry that open. i got to say, this is a really tough thing to take open. It's a really tough case, and they did a really good job of sealing it. I had a hard time of opening it back up again, and it, you could hear it thud closed when you actually snap it in place. This was actually harder than it looks. Actually, no, that looks pretty sad. So it finally came open after about three different tries, but it just goes to show it seals your iPad very well and uh, finally got it open there. So let's go ahead and get it open and get some other stuff going on. And you notice that little yellow seal happened to come out. You're going to want to make sure that that yellow seal goes back to where it was belonging. Um, take the little plastic front piece out. It's the, it's the filler unit. Make sure that yellow seal goes back. That's very important. Make sure everything is the way it should look the when you first got it out. You can see that yellow seal is very delicate. Make sure it goes back exactly into the little line that it has a little groove it goes into. Um, make sure it's in that groove. So let's go ahead and uh, make sure it's back in there. Double check it. Take a look at everything. Make sure it's all right. Dry it off if there's any wetness. Make sure there is no water anywhere. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to getting my iPad and putting it in to test it out. Okay, so here is my iPad. As you can see, I do have a couple of accessories. It is a 64 gigabyte Wi-Fi plus 4G LTE model. I do have a smart cover on it, and I got very used to using this smart cover. It snaps on magnetically, and so it won't fit with the LifeProof case on it, so I'm going to have to take it off, but... Uh, 
I did really get used to using it as a stand. I really liked the fact that it was thin and I could always clean the screen very easily with it just like this. But if I have the life proof on, I'm going to have to remove it. And I also have this little cup. It's actually called a, um, what was it called, a uh, sound jaw. And it directs all the sound from the back speaker forwards. I'm going to miss that, but it has to go. So now we're going to take the iPad and actually put it into the case after I go ahead and make sure it is clean. Make sure that there are no specks of dirt on it anywhere. Double check it as if you were putting a screen protector on because if there's anything that's going to come between the seal itself, that little yellow o-ring, and the screen, it will damage the seal. The seal itself is what keeps your iPad waterproofed. So now that that's all clean, double checking, it is worth taking some time to look at that. I'm going to go ahead and put it in properly. Take the bottom, put it in, and then let it down. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then you got to take this, and as I showed you earlier, there's two little uh, you can't really see that. There's two little kind of grabs. You gotta put that in there and make sure it snaps in properly. Um, it's got a little lip there. You gotta make sure you slide your iPad into the lip as you're putting it down. And you gotta start it from the bottom. Move all to the top. Make sure you hear a good snap in there. Um, you, you gotta make sure it's in there pretty hard. Uh, I gotta gotta really push down hard on this. It's got a good seal, but make sure you hear that click and that heavy snap because if it's not and you you know don't hear that, then it won't it won't be sealed. Close the charge bay door, and power it on, see if it works. It looks like it's working great. So what we're going to do now is actually take a look at how it works inside the case completely. That's what it looks like all around. It does work, still functions great. As you see, the silent ringer switch does work even with the iPad in there. It's got a really cool little rocker that can work underwater also. Uh, home button, volume rocker up and down, power button. Everything is functional even inside the case, as you can see, even the home button. Um, now I do have it jailbroken, so when I push the home button, I have it set to automatically unlock it. That's not normal. That's just my jailbroken iPad. But as you see, even the home button worked fine. And that right there, actually, I would not want to scratch because that's the screen itself of the iPad. So don't take a quarter to it. Now I do have to say I'm going to miss my smart cover because it has a life-proof case on it. It will no longer fit. But I did enjoy its stand and clean the screen properties. The, the ability to be able to do both of those things is going to mean a lot. So I would suggest getting the cover that LifeProof makes. You can use it as a stand. You can also use it to cover the screen. But I must say, it is insanely tough, as you saw. This is totally military grade. Anyway, that's what the iPad looks like. I think it looks brilliant. I think LifeProof did a wonderful job. I've really enjoyed using it. I think it's a great case. If you'd like more information about this case, go ahead and check out the links in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Please thumbs up the video and share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe because there's more coming.